everyone. Welcome to the Graph Galley YouTube blog hop. This is my finished card, and what I used was the square grid window slimline essential dies. What's nice about this set is you got these windows here that you can use, but there's also multiple layers within the set as well. The stamp set that I'm using is this cute little stamp set from Sunny Studios. It's got all these nice little cute puppies in them. To start, what I did was I took a mask, and it's sort of like a sun ray, because I was kind of going for a nice sunny, bright look over the top of my card. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these brushes from Picket Fence, and I'm taking some memento ink in neon yellow and i'm just going to be brushing this over the certain areas of the car that i wanted to add some of the ink to i didn't want to cover the entire card with with all of the color because i wanted you know just some plain spots on it because i'll be adding some other images from the stamp set to the front of the card now i'm just going to finish this up and i'm going to pull off the stencil and see how it came out and if I'm happy with the final look, I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the next section. But what you want to make sure you do, at least what I do, is I like to clean my stencils afterward. And I just take an alcohol wipe and I just kind of wipe all the ink off. This is my finished piece. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some tape. And I'm going to adhere it to a piece of acetate because um, I want to kind of create a window. I'm just going to kind of get this all stuck down and get it stuck to the first layer of the die set, which is sort of the mat. I'm just going to glue this piece here together here because what I'm going to do is when I color my images, I'm going to be sticking it to the front of my card. Now I'm just going to take miscellaneous images from the Sunny Studio stamp sets and I'm stamping it onto Express It paper. The ink that I chose to use, it's in hybrid black ink. Um, a lot of people use the Memento ink, the dye ink, and I think it's called Tuxedo. But lately I've been using this hybrid ink. I just really like how it comes out. I feel like it has a really nice dark black color to it. So now I'm just gonna kind of stamp some of these images so we can start coloring. To color my images, I use Copic Sketch Pens. And for my cute first cute little puppy, I'm going to be using C0, C1, C3, and C5. These are cool gray colors, and I figured it would kind of give him a nice little look. I will say I'm not an expert Copic colorist, as they say, but I think I do a pretty good job. Um, I'm still learning as I go um, where to add shadows, where to add different colors that kind of give you more depth. So I don't want to bore everyone as you watch me color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little music as I finish coloring everything up.
now that I have everything colored, I'm going to die cut the pieces and I'm going to begin putting my card together. And I'm going to just layer this top portion here over the top of the card. And I'm going to add my images in different portions of the card to complete the final look. Now I'm just stamping some streamers for the balloon. And I'm also going to add a stamped sentiment from the stamp set here. I'm just going to lay it. I think I'm going to add it in this middle section here. I think that would make a nice touch. I think it would be cute to add some of the little paw prints that come with the stamp set. We can just stamp these paws at a bunch of different places on the card front just to give it a little, I don't know, more flair. I'm going to mat this piece against some yellow cardstock. I think that'll kind of bring out the yellow in the masking that I did. And I'm just going to glue everything together to complete the look. And I hope everyone enjoyed my card.